I don't like any of that. That shit was so cringe. First of all, he caught 10% cringe from this little, little strand of hair coming out of his beanie. I know you see the little coiled hair, bitch, tuck that shit in. The opinions expressed in this video are for entertainment purposes only and are not to be taken seriously. If you do, however, take them seriously, that's your own fucking problem. Michael is not responsible for any hurt feelings throughout the course of this video. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, what the fuck is up? It's your favorite YouTuber here. Welcome back, bitches. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, imagine if I was that mean every time you came back to my videos. I wouldn't want to come back to my videos. Welcome back, bitches! I'd be like, who's this brown guy talking to? Unsubscribe. <laughs> Report. Exit window. Alright guys, so I've kind of made an observation. Uh, about 90% of all YouTubers have an intro that they do every single video. There's a certain amount of cringe mm -hmm. that every single YouTuber needs. You can't be completely 0% cringe. There needs to be a perfect ratio, right? Like the perfect YouTuber, let's say myself, right? Let's just put myself out there as an example. Likes to keep around, I say 30% cringe, maybe 25%. It depends, because you know, you need to engage the audience. Like, if I just spoke like this all the time, today I will be reviewing some topics in which I will poke fun at. Hope you enjoy, let's jump into it. Nobody would watch that shit! And I almost fell asleep imitating someone who talks like that. Alright, so as you've noticed, I don't really have an intro per se, I just kinda say, hey guys, welcome back. Basically, my intro is like a high five, right? Hey guys, welcome back, you know? But other people's intros are so cringy and so invading, like they're just, they're basically mouth tongue kissing you. So yeah guys, remember, spread love, I love every single one of you. Alright, so yeah, let's go prank my mom. I'm gonna make her think that I'm drinking bleach, like to kill myself, but really, it's a prank, okay? Smile though, still. So anyways guys, since I'm lacking and I don't know too much about real YouTuber intros, you know, I figure I'm gonna browse a couple top tier YouTubers and kind of analyze their intro, you know, maybe write some notes down. What it is, what it be, what it do, do. Welcome to the first day of the con. Okay, I think that's his intro. What it do, do. This man said, What it is, what it be, what it do, do. No, please. No, no. What it is, what it be, what it do, do. That shit came out so natural. If you scare him, he probably says this. Boom. What it is, what, <clears throat> what it be, what are you doing, bro? All right, so remember earlier I said every YouTuber should have maybe 25 to 30 percent cringe. That's probably the cap off, right? What it is, what it be, what it do. What it do, though? Damn, that intro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alex Wasabi. I have nothing against you personally. You're probably a great guy. I'm. That was like an 85% cringe. Might be 90. So, you know, if you were in grade school and getting graded on your cringe, you have an A-, minus. you know what I'm saying? B+. Plus. So, congrats to you. What would you rate this intro? Uh, comment down below. Let me know. I don't know. He's got 10 million subscribers, so maybe I need to up the cringe on my videos. Like, maybe it's me. Hey, yo, what? It's your boy Wolfie, and today I am back with a prank. I know you guys have been waiting a while, so go down and smash that like button. Let's hit 250,000 likes. Holy shit, I peed a little bit. I peed uh, slightly. This man's screaming so loud. He doesn't have neighbors? Holy shit. You know, he took the deepest breath before saying all this. He said, are you recording? Hey, yo, what's good? <laughs> if I yelled that loud when I was doing YouTube videos, people would call the cops on me. Like, someone's getting murdered. Something. There's a very heated argument going on. And then he tells you to smash the like button. I mean, I like the commitment. If you're not familiar with this uh, YouTuber, his name is Wolfie Raps. He's got 7.9 million, so another big name on the platform, right? Yeah, that was a lot. Uh, once again, guys, let me know down below. What do you think about Wolfie Raps' intro? Uh, I'm pretty sure he does this on every single video. He goes, hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy, Wolfie. Hey, yo, what's good? It's I do like that phrase way better than Alex Wasabi because what it do though just didn't hit me right But hey to each their own uh, you don't have to have the same opinion as me. I would rate Wolfie's cringe. I'd say it's, it's a 65 65 because he's very engaging. He's got my attention. He's screaming. He's this man is screaming hell loud I can't not pay attention to what this man is saying This man could literally be unboxing kids toys and I would pay attention. I'd be like, oh fuck I want some slime. So 65% cringe from me. Let me know down below what you think 20% less than Alex Wasabi I think that's right. And if you disagree with me fight me in the comments The longest intro in the world. Anything is possible. If you want bad enough, no disguise, but too hot, test your limits. You can feel 
For those of you who don't know, this is a family vlog account. Uh, they're called the Ace Family, really big. They got 8.8 .8 million subscribers, so once again, a juggernaut in the game. I'm trying to learn from the best, okay? But I'm not satisfied. I'm pretty sure that they, they can be cringier than this. Uh, let's, let's check out another video. Hey, Ace Family! What's going on, everybody? Before I start, I must admit... Nah, hold on. That was it? He didn't even commit. He literally, he didn't commit at all. Hey, Ace Family! He didn't even, he cut it. He didn't even continue the vocal. I mean... Just a little cringy. I don't even think that's because it's quick, you know, straight to the point. It's cringy that he didn't, like, he cut it off. That's the only cringy part. All right, Ace Family, they are a family vlog account, so that's already cringy on its own. That's 10% cringe right there automatically. The intro was not that cringe. I'd say the intro was probably 35% mm, cringe. Just gonna rate the overall intro between 40 and 45% cringe. Not bad, not bad at all. They're actually leading the pack with the least amount of cringe, so I respect it. That's dope, awesome. Yeah, actually, I don't, I don't mind that. Maybe I should sing my intro. What's up, bitches? Aha! Oh, I can't call you bitches. Uh, my bad. I don't mean bitches in a derogatory term. Bitches is just like, it's a pronoun, right? It's a pronoun for anything. What's up, everyone? What's up, bitches? Guys, that's the most versatile phrase ever, actually. You could use that phrase for anything. Look, watch. You, you're gonna get into a fight, right? Uh, three guys coming at you, taking their shirts off, really muscular. They're about to kick your ass. You, a person that's very self-confident in their fighting ability, you're gonna respond like, what's up, bitches? Come at me, what you want, right? What's up, bitches? Bunch of your friends invite you out, right? You show up to the bar, you see your whole posse, six deep, sitting at the bar in the corner. They don't see you yet. You walk up nonchalantly, you say, What's up, bitches? They're not gonna be upset. They're turning around like, hey, you fucking jokester. What took you so long? You're about to leave your house with your family, right? You guys drive separately. You're like, hey guys, I think it's gonna rain. Everyone laughs in your face. Nah, I checked the weather. It's not gonna rain, dumbass. You take your umbrella anyway. You show up to the designated location. It's pouring. Your family hasn't stepped out of their car yet. You pull out of your car with your umbrella by yourself and you walk by their car. What do you say? What's up, bitches? Hella dry. No raindrops on you. Okay, these motherfuckers stuck in their car, or they gotta ask you for your umbrella. An umbrella they originally laughed at you for 20 minutes ago before you left the house. It's a very versatile phrase. Think about it. It might be my new intro. What up, bitches? Hey, guys. What's up, Adubi Gang? I hope you're all having an amazing day because I'm having an amazing day. So if I'm having an amazing day, you all should be having an amazing, happy day. Adubi Gang, I'm doing the intro right now. I haven't done the intro because today's vlog... It's gonna be crazy. Uh, this guy's Adam Soleil. Uh, I don't know what he does specifically. He might vlog. Oh, no, his name is Adam Soleil Vlogs. Oh, okay, I'm glad he answered my question. Okay, dope. So if I'm having an amazing day, you all should be having an amazing, happy day. I don't like any of that. That shit was so cringe. First of all, he caught 10% cringe from this little, little strand of hair coming out of his beanie. I know you see the little coiled hair. Bitch, tuck that shit in. What a selfish intro. Am I right? This man really said, hey guys, hope you're having an amazing day, because I'm having an amazing day. So if I'm having an amazing day, you all should be having an amazing, happy day. The math on that might be a little incorrect. I don't know about that. Ha! <laughs> How are you going to tell us? How are you going to tell us that we, sh we should be having an amazing day because you're having an amazing day? Your life endeavors may be in a way better situation than mine or any of your viewers. Hey guys, hope you go out there and buy a brand new exotic car today because I just bought a brand new exotic car today. So if I have the money to buy a brand new exotic car today, you should have the money to buy a brand new exotic car today. That's the most selfish intro I've ever heard in my life. All right, let's add it up. He gets 10% cringe for this, this little coil of hair poking out that he was very aware of. He probably pulled it out himself. He was like, hold on. Uh, all right, perfect. I'm cute. <laughs> I don't know why he looks kind of like that that one tomboy girl from uh, recess What's her name Ashley or Spinelli if if, her, if his beanie was orange money? Also, I think he gets another 5% cringe for this shirt. I don't really like I don't like I just don't like it I just plain don't like it. Okay, no other real reasoning. That's 15% already and then the intro that was an 80% cringe intro so if you add it all up, if my math is correct, drag the two, carry the one, multiply by the common denominator. Uh, he's got a 95% cringe, holy shit. He wins for life. I can't even make another video like this because he no one can really top this. I was just trying to come up with my own intro and I stumbled across this little dark realm of cringy intros on YouTube. Uh, let me know down below what you think about Adam Soleil's intro here. This really selfish intro. Down below in the comments, what percentage do you give him? I know the cringe was unbearable, so I don't want to hold you for too much longer. If you did watch all the way up until now, thank you so much. Make sure to comment what it do do down below. Okay, comment what it do do. Just because that shit was funny. He said, what do you do, though? Oh, wait, um, smash the like button for me. S smash it, elbow it, punch it. I don't care. 
I'm trying not trying to up my cringe, so I gotta tell you to smash the like button instead of just, you know, hitting it. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for today, man. My name's Michael. Ta-ta for now, and if you are a returning subscriber, you already know how the outro goes. I'd be like, ooh, ooh. 11, 12, hey, y'all, hey. Hit the fucking bell, hey, y'all, hey.